basketball. The varsity basketball team boarded the bus January 12th to play at the United Center. Lucky for me, I was able to get a behind the scenes look of what went on that day for the players and coaching staff. On the way to the game, the back of the bus was where you wanted to sit. You could tell that the guys were excited to step on that court and just play. As we got closer to the arena, the guys started getting really excited, and Devin O'Hara began leading the chants, and even included manager Brian Novak. Once we arrived, the players, staff, and varsity cheerleaders entered through gate three and a half to head to their locker rooms and get ready. Even though it wasn't the official Bulls locker room, the guys enjoyed seeing what a professional one looked like. Just being in a locker room at the United Center was amazing in itself. When everyone was dressed, the team and staff went out on the floor even before official warm-ups just to see, step, and take a few shots on the court. All of the coaches had their phones out taking pictures, and the players were all smiles every time they took a shot. Their energy was ecstatic yeah, before the game two, yeah. started. If you got a problem with me, tell it to the rest Lights at home, I'm in my zone I might as well be going down Lights are on, tonight's a poem You might have noticed we're the best The Knights looked like they were ready to play And head varsity basketball coach John Camardella Made sure everyone on his roster would get their share of minutes Unfortunately, the Knights weren't able to pull out a win against Lions Township High School But the team believes that is the experience that counts more than anything Experience first, you know, we do less of a scouting report, stuff like that, and, uh, and that type. Understand, you know, what we're doing right now. I mean, it's, That's uh, Derek Rose. Yeah. So, um, you know, very rarely do guys get opportunities to do things like this, and uh, win or lose, to be able to come here and play a game. Um, one of the meccas of, of basketball in the world. It's, uh, it's a very special day, and I'm, I'm glad our guys got to be a part of it. I got a chance to talk with juniors Matt McParlin and Danny Thomas to hear their thoughts about playing at the United Center. Never have again. It's something that was like a dream come true for basketball players. I just think it was really exciting out here. Like, it doesn't matter what the school board said, even though what it said wasn't very good. It's just cool to be out there. Along with going to see the prospect game, I was able to get a full access press pass to cover the Bulls game. I met famous Stacey King, radio announcer Chuck Swirsky, Neil Funk, and even stopped six-time NBA All-Star Jermaine O'Neal for a picture. Before the game, I was able to watch both the Bulls and Phoenix Suns practice. It was amazing to see the players in person and the workouts they go through pre-game. At 7 o'clock, I went to take my seat in the press box. I was surprised that every quarter we received full detailed stats which is very rare to see in high school sports because normally a high school reporter does play-by-play -by, -play by themselves. The game itself wasn't that great. The Bulls got frustrated and were given multiple technicals early. Also forwards Michael Beasley and Luis Skull of the Suns got hot, each dropping 20 points. The Suns never looked back, winning 97-81. After the game, I headed to the press conference and locker room to hear Bulls head coach Tom Thibodeau and forward Carlos Boozer answer questions to the media such as the Chicago Tribune and ESPN. I also got a chance to interview center Joakim Noah and forward Jimmy Butler about the outcome of the game. We have to do a, we have to do a better job. We have to do a better job of... Um, of playing when when you know we, we play we always play well against the big teams and then you know against the low echelon teams we're not playing with that same competitive spirit it's a problem how do we stay disciplined and just have that right mentality like you said uh, i think it's easy for us i feel like we just got to come into every game ready to play focused on our opponent and um just play hard i'm not gonna say that we don't play hard but i feel like um 
there's a lull at times, and then whenever everything goes against us, it uh, it backfires. So we just got to pick up our en energy and intensity, and we'll be fine. Overall, it was a great experience, and I met so many people that impacted me that night. As a high school journalist, it was surreal for me just to be there, and it will be a memory that will last a lifetime. I believe this is only the beginning of my journalism career.